I wouldn't lose, that's for sure. But I thought that my move is even better because I avoid any complications. I look at everything and I missed. Of course, I didn't miss a five. I missed queen d1 uh, after f5. So if I would see this move, of course, I would take on f4 and uh, and would pass this round. <laughs> um, yeah, that's. Uh, in the rapid and blitz section, uh, I guess uh, it was not as expected, yeah. Um, yeah, in, in the first game I blundered very badly, um, just in one move and my position collapsed, completely collapsed. And in second game I got better position and uh, obviously I could set much more problems, <laughs> but uh, made a couple of inaccurate moves and he managed to... Uh, to equalize. Father, you played some really nice and exciting chess. Uh, do you go back with pleasant memories of this World Cup for beating uh, uh, an upcoming talent? Uh, well, of course, I'm very disappointed. I, uh, um, I think I deserve to, <laughs> to pass uh, this round. Um, well, what can I say? I prepared very well and uh, just just a little bit more concentration. <laughs> yes, you had told us uh, after the first round that you had found some weaknesses and you would not like to reveal them now because there are more games. So is it um, an appropriate moment to, to tell us about it? Uh, well, um, um, so in, in he doesn't like... Um, so as any uh, attacking, very attacking and very aggressive player, he doesn't like to defend when he, he doesn't have strong counterplay. You know, some players like, for example, say Karyakin or Panamarov, they, they, they don't care, right? <laughs> they can defend. Uh, um, of course, it's not so like, obvious, it's not obvious weakness because he's a player of very high class. Uh, but uh, I managed to to exploit it. So in the first in the first game, he made um, several quite serious inaccuracies. Right? So it, it, I, I, I saw that uh, this position is very unpleasant for him. So <laughs> and uh, he didn't know, uh, and it was um, like unknown position. So he didn't know uh, exactly what to do. He didn't know fairly. Uh, as well as in uh, second uh, game, uh, I think he expected uh, like uh, bishop a5 uh, variation, which I played uh, for, for for many years. Uh, but I simply took on c3, and uh, he proved to be not ready for that. Uh, I wasn't impressed of, uh, by, by his play. Uh, he did, again, he didn't know what to do, how to activate his pieces. He made some some dubious moves like h4, h5, you know. Um, so, so this is his play. He's very aggressive, and he tra and uh, he tries to uh, like to to dominate, to activate his pieces at any cost. And uh, well, I chose some kind of position where it will be difficult for him to uh, demonstrate his strong sides. Yes. Sacrificing the c4 pawn in the Catalan and taking the center with e4, I uh, think really didn't suit his style. And yeah, yeah. So he, he, he uh, uh, it would be perfect for him to get such positions with white pieces. Right? So uh, it like he, he played against himself. <laughs> so uh, great, great planning, uh, but you just fell short. Uh, sorry for that, and we hope that you have great events in the future. <laughs> Thank you.